This time around we're going to do things a little different. Um, I've actually put the code in place ahead of time so that save you seeing me type out the code and I'll just walk through the changes that I've made. What I'm going to do here is we've actually now populated both of these combo boxes. You remember last time we did these button labels and so a little bit more complicated here uh, but it's pretty straightforward. Let's go through the changes that I've made. You'll notice on each of the components that I have here in the application, I've given them an ID name so that I can actually reference them in code. So I've just called them comp A and comp B. Um, you can see obviously comp B is the one on the right here and comp A is the one on the left. So what we're going to do now is let's go over to the component and look at the changes that I've made. Uh, visually it's exactly the same and you can see that as I go in here, you know, the combo box also has this ID of CMB list, combo list is, is what I call it there. And that's the only change we made to the component. If we go over to the application again, I want to show you what I've done here in the code now. When the application has finished building, you get what's called this creation complete event. And I've added that here in the application tag, you can see creation complete. And what this equals in it here is, we're saying when creation is complete I want you to call this function so what I've done in code it's pretty standard practice you'll see a lot of people do that um, if I go over to the code behind that I have here you'll see you know remember we have this script with the uh, pointing to this action script file I like to keep my action script separate from the mxml files if we go in here you can see you know here's that public uh, sorry here's that function that we have that init function that's called after the application is built. Um, so the only other changes I've got here, I've got two bindable data sources. I've got a my data array A of type array collection and the same thing again my data array B of type array collection. And when the init function fires, essentially we just I'm just populating each of these arrays with some data. So you can see you know my data array here uh, A has just list A item 1, item 2, item 3 and just so you can easily see the difference, you know, we have the same here for B, we have list B, item 1B, item 2B, and item 3B. That's all it does. And then here we have, you know, and just to point out, of course, these array collections, this data could come from anywhere. Uh, a lot of the time I'm, I'm hooking up to web services, for example, or XML files, but I just put a couple of simple array collections in here to, to demonstrate the process of the way I'm doing this. And then once those arrays have some data, we're just saying, you know that component that instance component a within there there's the combo list and i want its data provider to now be the my data array a here and the same for component b goes through the combo list i'm now assigning a data provider of my data array b and and that's all there is to the code so when we go in here now and let's just fire up the application you can see that we have you know list item a item 1 list item A, item 2, and the same again, item 3. And here's our data source for the combo box B. We know same thing again, three options we can just go in and click from. Um, obviously, normally you would have like a label and some kind of ID reference or something like that related to a value for the combo box. But I just went ahead and just added some, some items in here so that you could see this list populated. It won't actually do anything or, or reference anything at this time. Um, that's it. That That's all there is to it. You know, go back again, uh, watch the video, just go through the code. It, it's very simple. Essentially, we just have a couple of array collections, and for each of these instances, we just assign a data provider for each of these combo boxes to that array collection. And, and that's all you have to do to just pass in a, a little bit more complicated data than just this label that we did before, and that's all there is to it.